Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 6.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 6.2 is called Generating Equivalent Fractions. So we already did in Lesson 1, Making Equivalent Fractions. Now we're just going to add an extra step. They're asking for a specific equivalent fraction. So it says here, Patty needs 3 fourths cup of dish soap to make homemade bubble solution. Her measuring cup is divided into eighths, so she needs three-fourths, but her cup doesn't say fourths on it. It only says eighths. What fraction of the measuring cup should Patty feel, fill with dish soap? So basically, we need to change three-fourths into eighths. So we're finding how many eighths are in three-fourths. Now, they gave us here a graphic organizer to fill out to help us with this. If you're in my class, I want you filling out page 231 in your big math book as we go through the lessons so that I can check and see you did it. Now, here before we get going, it says, is an eighth size part of a measuring cup bigger or smaller than a fourth size part? Now, normally when we think of those numbers eight and four, we think that eight is bigger. But when we're dealing with fractions, the bigger the number on the bottom, that means actually a smaller portion. So an eighth size is going to be smaller than a fourth size portion. That's supposed to be an E right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this model here. We're going to compare fourths and eighths. So they drew a model with fourths in it, and they drew a model with eighths in it. So first we're going to start by doing one-fourth. Even though we really have three-fourths, we're going to start by looking at one-fourth. So if we were to color in one-fourth of this part, then it's saying over here, how many eighths will we need to color in to get a size, a part that is the same size as this four-size part? And if you, if you can see, you have to look kind of close, you would need to color in two of those eighths to get the same size. So it says you would need two eighth size parts to make just one four size part. So if I had three four size parts, how many eighth size parts would that be equal to? Well, if one of them is two, then that means two of them must be four, and three of them must be six. We'd have to color in six eighth-sized parts to make three fourth-sized parts. So Patty should fill six eighths of the measuring cup with dish soap. Okay, so that's the way that they showed us how to do making generating equivalent fractions using this model here. I'm going to show you how to do it using multiplication. So let me move to another step. What I would do if I'm trying to change three fourths into eighths, that means I want it to be equal to something eighths. I would ask myself, what do I do to this 4? What do I multiply this 4 by to get 8? Well, I know that I would have to multiply 4 times 2 to get 8. Now, remember in Lesson 1, I told you whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So if I know I multiply 4 times 2 to get 8, I also have to multiply my top times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So if I wanted to change 3 fourths into 8, that's how I would do it. I'm going to give you another example. Say they gave me the fraction 2 fifths, and they said they wanted me to generate that into a tenth. I would ask myself, what do I do to this 5 to get 10? What do I multiply it by? I multiply 5 times 2 to get 10. So since I already did that to the bottom, I have to do it to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths. That's how I do it using multiplication. I'm going to do another one for you. Say they gave us 6 eighths. 
and they wanted us to change it into sixteenths. Well, I know that I multiply eight times two to get sixteen. So since I already did that to the bottom, I'm going to have to do it to the top to finish my fraction. Six times two is twelve. So six eighths is equal to twelve sixteenths. So in my opinion, this multiplication way of generating equivalent fractions is a lot easier than drawing all these models that they had us draw. But whatever works for you, you stick with that. And that is the end of Lesson 6.2. If you're in my class, please write down the password TIGER and make sure you have filled out this graphic organizer on page 231 so that I know that you've watched the video. All right. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thank you.